Hi, so today I'm going to focus on a particular skill and a particular tool that can help you keep focused during a time of transition and particularly a time of, of ambiguity as well. So this tool can be used by you as an individual contributor or can be used by a, a you as a manager or leader to keep your team focused on business as usual. We hear that word used, that phrase used an awful lot, but what does it actually mean? So some, some of you may have seen this before. It comes from a guy called Stephen Covey and his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And it's three circles. There we are, that's it. But this helps us identify what we need to focus on when we're unsure, when we're unclear, and particularly as we're going through transition. Now, think about the issues, the questions that you might have in your mind at the moment, and just think of two or three of those. Now, Covey talks about organising those into three particular spheres. Now, the first one here is any issue or any concern where you have no control and no influence. Now, I'm sure we can think of many of those things where actually the day uh, the day to day activity that we have, we really don't have any control or influence over those things. So, uh, for example, the weather. The transport system in the United Kingdom, for example, those things that get us stressed, makes us anxious, but we don't have any control and we definitely don't have any influence over. He then talks about this second sphere where we have no control still, but we have some influence. So we may know a person or a group of people who might be able to support us in coming to a decision or helping us through a particular scenario, for example. And then he talks about the middle circle. This is where we have control and influence. So this is where Kobe talks about spending most of our time and most of our energy when we're unsure or when we're going through times of ambiguity. What are the things on a day-to-day -day basis that we can focus on that we have control and influence over? Typically our day-to-day -day activities, the numbers, the deadlines, the reports, the decks, whatever it is. And he talks about actually growing this inner circle to focusing all our time on things that we do have control over and we do have influence over, rather than spending our time here. And during periods of change, that's where we can spend most of our time and most of our energy in focusing on things that we don't have evidence for, we don't have any fact over, and definitely we can't control and influence. So as an individual contributor, if you're finding that you can't stay focused, think about the circles of influence and control, because it's a great way of keeping you focused on the known and the things you can action on a day-to-day -day basis. Thanks very much for joining me.